Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is drag your footage into the composition. Your footage needs to look like this. Just your actor throwing his arm and the other one reacting. Look how cute he looks here. That's Caden, by the way, if you didn't know. Now what you're going to want to do is go to Layer, Solid, and then whatever, Black Solid, then rename it Element 3D. Then you're going to right click, press Effects, go to Video Copilot, and press Element. Then you're going to want to go to Effect Controls, press Scene Setup, and once you're in Scene Setup, go to Create, press a Sphere, and then you're going to want to find a black glossy material for this. Black gloss should work fine for now. Then you're going to want to go to Segments, hit 36. Then go down to Optimize Mesh, make sure that's turned on, and Enable Deformation. Now you see that sphere in your composition, go to Group 1, Create a Group Null. Go to Particle Look. Deform, Noise, Enable Noise, go to Twist, Enable Twist. These are pretty much all the settings that you're going to use to make it look like Venom. You're going to want to turn up the intensity of the noise and the scale. Then go to Advance, go to the X Intensity, or whatever. Whichever way your arm is pointing pretty much, you want it to stretch. Then in the group null, you're going to want to press the stopwatch for position, scale, orientation, X rotation, Y rotation, and Z rotation, because you're going to animate this to stick to your arm. What I forgot to do here was press the stopwatch for the X intensity, the in intensity of the noise, the scale, the twist, and I'll realize that soon, soon. So now you see me going back and pressing all the stopwatches because <laughs> I realized I messed up. But So you make sure <laughs> you press those. Now you just want to play with the X intensity, the intensity, the scale of the noise, and the twist and see what look you like it's really just up to playing around with it seeing what you like i like mine looking more crazy looking and twisted you could also mess with the scale but you have to make sure that they're not linked start to see now what it's looking like. And you have to make sure that it lines up with your actor's <laughs> reaction.
Okay, so the next thing you want to do after you're done animating it is when the when you want the symbiote to start moving up the arm, press Control Shift D on the Element 3D layer, and then delete the left part that you don't need. So now you can see it kind of just like pops up there instead of looking like smooth. You know what I mean. I think I'm going to play with it a little more because I could still see my hand a little bit, which is fine. It's up to you. Okay, now I'm going into color correction, curves, to make it fit with my scene a little bit better. So I'm going into the red, because it's a warm, lit room. Make it a little more dark. Okay, to fix it just popping up on your arm, press the stopwatch on opacity on the element 3D layer, and then make sure it's zero at the start, and then gradually move it to 100. And now you're gonna wanna duplicate your footage, press the eyeball so you can't see it, And then we're gonna make a mask around your arm so it kind of fits on your arm better. And you're gonna want to go to mask, mask path, press the stopwatch, and animate it to make sure it fits on your arm. This is called rotoscoping and it takes forever, but it makes it look a lot better. Then you want to press the eyeball again so you can see what your mask has done. And you want to go down to feather and play with it a little bit so it doesn't look as rough. So this is what I have so far. Right now I'm messing with the settings a little bit again because I just don't like how much my arm is shown and don't like how much it's twisted. Let's look at that face again. <laughs> now I'm going to materials because I want to make it look more rough and like alien like. So I'm using stone rock wall. editing the material. And putting the glossiness down to zero, which makes it look really alien-like. You see how much better it looks? Now I'm going back down to curves to make it match with the scene a little better. Now I'm going to effect, blur and sharpen, and then Gaussian blur. Because my, I shoot with the DSLR and it's a little soft. So I want to match it to that footage as much as possible. You don't want it too sharp. Now 
I'm going to add another effect to Element 3D, Noise and Grain, Add Grain, then putting it to Final Output, then messing with the Intensity so it matches my footage. So now it looks like it belongs in the scene a little bit more. Now I'm just going to add a final color grade with an adjustment layer. Effect. And then I'm going to go to Magic Bullet List. And then, since it's Venom, I'm going to make it dark. Now I'm just messing with the curves again since I added a color grade. And now just export it however you want. And then that's it.